What's up YouTube? My name is Bedivere. Welcome to another episode of Zero to Hero. In today's episode, we are going to be diving back into our Factorio playthrough. As always, if you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like, click that subscribe button if you haven't, as well as that little notification bell right at the bottom there. I do stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash Bedivere. If you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one content or you just want to ask a question whether it's on Factorio or any other strategy game I might play, I do play a variety of them, go ahead and check out the link in the, in the description down below. All the links to all my socials as well are down there. All right, let's dive back into our playthrough. Um, in the last episode, we basically ran through all of the train signals and did a tutorial on how that works when a train or a wagon is on a certain rail, how that goes down and how these signals change depending on which blocks are, are taking up which. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a card up in the top right corner. So go, or top left, it's not top right, top left corner. Um, so if you haven't seen that, be sure to check that out. In today's episode though, we've got a lot of catching up to do. Um, I think it's time where we actually start considering expanding our horizons. And now that we can do that with this rail network here, I'm thinking that we take that all the way up north and also all the way down south. Uh, we leave a, a little bit of room, probably take the rails right on the edge here of this copper uh, field. And then from the very beginning of our playthrough, once when it gave you a preview of our map, we had a big lake over here. I want to set up uranium uh, fuel cell processing as well as the eventual just re regular uranium fuel up in this area right here so that we don't have to, tr to train things back and forth we can just train in the uranium ore so i think that's what we might focus on in this playthrough let's go to our technology screen so we already got um, the mining productivity being made as well as the uh, medium or not medium power poles, but you know, large grid power poles. We are going to need this nuclear fuel reprocessing. And then we already have Covrex research. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, Covrex has been researched. So we're good to go on that. Uh, so we're gonna have to set up our first mining outpost and that's gonna be mining uranium. We already set up our sulfuric acid. So we are only gonna to need to train in that sulfuric acid in order to mine uranium. Let's go ahead and while we're here, we should probably just be a little proactive in what we're choosing to research. We're gonna to need to make robots soon. So I think once we set up the actual uranium processing and the Covrex processing, we'll switch to robots because that Covrex process does take a little bit of time to get kickstarted. So then after that, we'll work on robots and upgrading our base after. Um, let's go ahead and let's start researching. Hmm. Worker robot speed, maybe. We will need more explosives so we, and we've already started it. So let's go ahead and do that. Military three is a prerequisite for a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and queue that up and then let's get started. So we will go back to our mall and pick up some miners and pipes and rails also uh so we got a couple rails he rails here let's go ahead and recycle some of this stuff let's recycle that there there is there anywhere else that'll take it for now uh is nuclear stuff good to go because if so, then we should be able to, yeah, that nuclear. So now that nuclear is actually researched, we can go ahead and add all the components that we'll need into our mall here in order to get all of that production started. So here we are gonna make our nuclear reactors. Here, let's make the concrete because concrete is going to need, is going to be consumed by the nuclear reactors as well as the centrifuges here. And then this will be heat exchanger, and then we'll use the heat pipe here, and then this middle one will be our steam turbine. All right, so if we go out like so, let's see here, pipe, 
this pipe should go out here. And then that's going to be our water, right? Okay. So then we're going to also add a little output. Uh, we'll use regular iron. Uh, a little output of that with a red inserter here and a red inserter here. Okay. Now, these guys are going to need the red circuits as well as the green circuits. What do they need? Oh, just the red circuits. So red circuits can come from here probably. Should be good. Iron gears. That's fine. Concrete's going to come from there. Steel is going to have to come down this middle line. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. Straight down the middle. Steel is going to be taken from where? Oh, I need to bring down... I need to bring down our, our copper. And then this is actually gonna go down a little bit further because we're gonna need the ore, the iron ore. Let's fix that. Copper is gonna go through here and come along this side. Copper will go right here and be taken by these. Perfect. And then these also need steel, right? Yes, they do. And then pipes. So they'll take the pipes from here. What do these need? Steel and copper. So let's go ahead, add that. Steel and copper. Perfect. So that's good to go. Those are gonna need outputs. So let's put that one there and that one there. Set that to max of there and then set this to max of there. Okay. And then I will set, oh, this needs an input as well. And I will set this max to, oh, it doesn't have an output. This max to, we'll go two, two stacks. Okay, now these guys are gonna go out here. These also need copper. So let's bring the copper through this line. Will we have enough room? I think we should. Maybe if we bring this back just a tad. That way I can skip it like that. Boom. All right, so that's gonna come through with copper. We're gonna need gears and then, and pipes. And then the copper plate's gonna come through there. Okay, and then that's gonna output here and we'll keep that to one full line. So this needs iron ore, stone brick, and water. So where's the stone brick? The stone brick can come in on this line here, maybe. Oh no, I already planned for it. This stone brick is gonna be coming right here I mean I mean it might make sense to just bring it where it's supposed to be like that and then we'll bring up like this and do like that perfect whoops bring this one one back and then there are our stone bricks. Okay. And then, oh, this also needed what? Iron ore? Can we bring our, our, our iron ore right here? Like, like that. Hmm, not with a yellow belt, but with a red belt for sure. Yeah, so that's fine. These circuits are fine. Let's go ahead and just do something a little sneaky and a little clean. There we go. And we'll put 
there we go and then that'll bring iron ore all right and then we'll connect both of these two lines to our main bus as well as these guys and that way those can start producing those resources or those products while we get our mining underway do i not have a lane for for iron i don't i can use this one though yeah i can use that one right there let's go ahead and do that and i'm hoping i'm bringing down water as well i am bringing down water so that's fine i just need to bring down a um an iron ore belt so let's go ahead and do that right here oh did i forget there we go i can just use a little bit of these boom make sure that only iron comes through yes and then let's use a red underground there just make sure it clears everything and then we will go ahead and balance and then bring this all the way down Let's go. All right, we'll go around the power poles. And yes, this is a little ugly for our bus, but at the same time, this is the only place that we're actually gonna import iron ore other than our smelting. So this little cluster of the bus only happens at the very beginning and honestly that's a sacrifice we're willing to make instead of importing like an entire train of of iron ore for really for no reason at all or not no reason but not a great reason perfect that's good to go all right what? Let's make sure that we don't run away. Okay, and then one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this a tad over. Like that. So that this can go right next to it. There we go. Now we have our iron ore not iron ore oh let's clear our research let's go ahead and just research more of the stack inserter stuff there we go all right and now all of this stuff is getting made let me just double check this is missing what oh the concrete yeah because concrete is being made just yet uh we need the inserters on this stuff though so we'll put inserters here need steel as well as copper so let's go ahead just move this a tad put that there that copper is good and then concrete is going to be the last thing we can actually add another red inserter there just to speed that up a tad and there we go copper that's all being made 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 and that'll be made once the concrete is being made. Awesome. All right, so that's good to go. Let's go ahead and let that run in the background. Oop, we need water. I forgot that. Let's put that there. Where's our lights? Our lights are non-existent. Okay, boom, we have water, awesome. And we can confirm that, yeah, that factory is working. Okay, how's our power looking? Uh, power's not looking good, so we need to get 
We need to get that nuclear power online ASAP. Uh, we're gonna need miners. How many miners do we have? Oh, that's right. I don't have much. So let's go ahead and recycle our space. And then steel as well. Stone brick can go back in there. Don't need too much of it. Uh, I don't need just five stone brick. Okay, I guess that's fine. Uh, we can use, use it here. All right, the this iron ore can also be recycled into here. Same thing with the circuits. Maybe not the green ones. Green ones can go there and there. Red ones can go in there. Batteries recycled into here. And then iron plate. Can go there. All right, so we made a little bit more room for miners. Let's take all 200. And then we're gonna need a bunch of underground belts, power poles, we got 70, let's add an extra, let's add an extra 50. All 200 of these, splitters are good. Let's grab 700 of those. We're gonna need to fill that up actually. Fill it up all the way. All right, let's, red transport belts are good. Uh, let me do another stack of the splitters. Ooh, and then the, the underground pipes. Perfect. Let's top off on those. All right. Let's go ahead and mine. So the closest mine that we have is going to be this uranium mine, or uranium ore mine right there. So... And we're gonna have our train probably come off and swoop down right in front here. And I'm thinking, let's see how we wanna do this. Where's our grenades? There we go. I wanna leave room for all of our, all of our rails. So if I have rails coming in through, let's say here, let's see if there's enough room to leave the sulfuric acid as well. Do I not have a train station? Train station. Oh my God, I don't. Okay. Well, at least we can plop down all the miners and then we'll go get a train station afterwards. It's gonna go outbound like this. And you see over uranium ore, there's these little pipes that connect. Uranium ore requires sulfuric acid to be piped, piped into the miners in order to mine ore. So that's what we will need to bring in on a train. Perfect. And we'll just keep on going up and down. And we're hoping that this mining field produces two full, full um, belts of, of ore. To start off, you'll, I think you'll need one in order to do the Covrex processing at a decent speed. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna want to scale up to two, eventually, at least. Maybe not at the very beginning, but eventually. Whoops. I'm just hoping that we have enough miners, because these go deceptively quickly. How many do I have? 780 as long as, yeah, no, we're, we're fine. I'll just add some 7.8K. Yeah, that's worth it. 
4.1. Okay. So we're going to have how many miners? That's 14. That row's 43. So that's like almost one red belt at 76. So yeah, we'll have of plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay, where's gonna be the bottom? Bottom's gonna be right here. And then we are gonna do our patented, not actually though, but why not just say it? Patented mining setup. And I will skip ahead for when we're actually done setting this up. All right, so we got everything added in. We got all our power poles, we got all our belts. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven belts. Uh, and we're running, we're gonna be running two by eight trains. Uh, that's two locomotives and eight wagons. So we don't necessarily, we don't have enough ore to fill eight full red belts but it's better than nothing. So let's go ahead and go to our belt balancers and we will plan this out. Let's see if this will be enough room. And in order to do that, so you see that, you know, I left a room right here, but in order to actually test if it is in fact enough room, we need to place down some ghosts with rails. I'm just gonna give myself a lot of room and then add some inserters. One, two, three, four, five, six with chests and then more belts or more inserters and then red belts going out the direction and then a red splitter right here did i just put yeah i just put five there we go so that's our spacing that we need let's go ahead and actually cut this because this won't be the exact thing so here we actually have the perfect spacing. All right, let's go ahead and use fast inserters here, regular chest there, power poles there. And then we can add our rails. We're gonna go need to go get like stack inserters because that's what's gonna be used in order to load the mineral or the ore onto the train from the chest. But we forgot to actually go get it. So we're gonna wrap this around. We also need to get train stops. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, actually, we can, we can build out these balancers. This is gonna go in here, in here. So we're only gonna have seven inputs, but it's still gonna spread out this seven, these seven belts into eight even lanes. And that's one thing why I love this balancer blueprint. And you'll find with bots, it goes even quicker. I like to do belts first in one direction, actually no, the undergrounds first, and then finish off with belts. Okay, belts. Do, 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 do. That's good, switch direction, like so. Switch direction and then the last one. Boom. That's it. All right, so let's jump, let's hop in our car and we'll head, we'll go get some train stops as well as what else are we gonna need? I know I missed some stuff. Train stops and also the wagons oh let's put our fluid wagon right here du, 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 du. there we go and that's gonna fill up but we're also gonna need coal 
Can I just take some extra coal off of here? Because it's not much that trains need. It's not, it's really not that much. All right, let's, uh, let's move this a tad. We're gonna have a belt right here. Probably going underneath. And then stuff going off the belt, like so. And then we're gonna need a chest capped at just one spot. Boom. And that's gonna be our refueling. There we go. So then that's gonna refuel, that's gonna be good to go. And then let's go and get the stuff that we needed. Oh, we are low on iron. Low, low, low on iron. What's, what's going on? Are we just consuming everything? They're not even going at full force here. Hmm. We're gonna need we're gonna need red red inserters here. Or not red inserters, red splitters. Uh let's go ahead and move. What are we gonna move? No, not move. Get. Get the train stops. We have rails. Do we have radars? We should we should get a few more radars. Full stack of that. Let's get some another stack of the splitters because we're gonna have to upgrade that in order to get a decent amount of throughput. Do we have signals? Yeah, we got 90 signals, 80 chain signals. That's good. And then we got rails. Uh, we could always always use more rails. Boom. That is good to go. Let's go ahead and just upgrade our splitters so that we get a little bit more throughput. Because I think the issue is is when they're merging, I don't think they're they're doing it right necessarily. There we go. We're getting we're getting more throughput. Boom. Yeah. There we go. We got, we got more lines going through. And I think these should be almost fully gone. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to get the entrance and the exit of this working correctly. And then name our stations and everything. Oh, no, I needed inserters. I forgot that. Whoops. My bad. My bad. Okay. All right. So we're going to need... We're going to need our inserters. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go here. Let's take all 200 and then the right fast inserters as well. Uh, fast splitter, good to go. Underground belt, good to go. That, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, let's go back to our mining outpost and see, ooh, actually, no, no, no. Do I have tanks? Do I have tanks? Tanks is gonna be huge. Ah, I don't. I'm glad I remembered that. Uh, I'll just take a full stack. I mean, comes in, comes with 50, so that's overkill. But we are running short on our iron. What's going on with our iron? You guys, we're gonna have to upgrade all of this soon. And even this isn't keeping up, so we might have to tap this this iron mine. Yeah, these are almost done. 
Yeah, running out, running out quick. Uh, but we got a bunch of resources right here. All right. But let's get back to the task at hand. And this sulfuric acid is going to help mine our stiff. All right. Let's figure out at, one po at what point does this need to start? Let's go to our train station. And we're since we're going to be running a 2-8, two, two locomotives, eight wagons, we need to skip the first two white chunks and then start on the third one. And that actually lines up perfectly. And then we'll go ahead and delete this and then start our, our outbound right there. And we'll go ahead and connect the track to this one here. Oh, a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then we will add, actually let's add another rail, we're missing one, there we go. We will add our chain signals to the outbound as well as the rail signal at the end because if you saw the last video, chain signals once you start a crossing, rail signals at the end of a crossing. And then let's put our stack inserters on the inside here with lights at either end. And then we'll copy and paste this all the way down. That's three, that's four, five, six. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> that's an issue. I didn't make this long enough. Uh oh. Okay, let's uh let's cut this. I need to make this a tad longer. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. All right. So I went ahead and finished the the belt setups here. I pushed everything back. Note to self, or just a word of advice for the future. Make sure that you got enough space for your train before committing all the belts, or else you're gonna have to delete everything and restart. But hey, that's the beauty of Factorio. So we'll go ahead, add our train signals here, and then we're going to have to add a stop. And we'll add that right here, it looks perfect. And then we're gonna need pumps. And then tanks. And this looks like we're gonna have exactly the right amount of spacing. And then pumps coming down. Obviously that's overkill, we don't need two pumps. And I think I think I might take one off. Yeah, just so that we have a little bit of room a little bit of room to walk. Let's go ahead and we'll put this one here. Just so that there's a underground connection. All right. Boom. And then we're going to have to connect all the rows here. And you see that there's arrows on the back of each miner. So any fluid that goes on this side is going to transfer over to this side as well. So we'll, in these, these little clusters of back-to-backs, we only need to connect one of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that for every, every row. So this row is connected. We just need this row. Boom, boom, boom. That's connected. That's good. This chunk is good. That chunk is good. We need this chunk. So let's do that there. Then we need this chunk. Just like so. And then we'll take it out from here. And then do that. And then this is the last line. So there we go. Those are all connected. We are going to add our power poles on our pumps, making sure that all of that is connected and good to go. There we go. 
and let's name our stations. So this is going to be code name or uranium, uranium, boom. Acid. And then this one down here is gonna be or uranium. And did I spell this right? Uranium, boom. I don't know why I can't spell today. All right, so all this is connected. You need to connect these two lines with a big power pole like so. And then we will connect everything together. So let's go back to our car. And then I connected this little headway here. Uh, but let's connect it with power now. And we'll go on a line. I'm pretty sure that was a line. Let's make sure. Yeah, that was a line. Okay. We'll bring that all the way back to our main power line along the highway. Boom. And then we will go ahead and signal all of this stuff up as well. So it's going to go outbound. Can this fit? No, it can't. So I'm just going to kind of cut underneath it. Boom. All right. So this blue chain signal has to keep on going this way. Boom. Awesome. So now for something to leave, it has to go all the way out this way like this. And then I'm also going to add one more connection because our acid is going to be leaving out of here. So I want, I want it to go straight into here as well so that the acid can just go right here and then up and over. Boom. That's good. All right, so then acid will be able to leave into this left lane and go there. And that'll be that'll be temporary for now. I mean, that's fine. We can have one place there. And then let's go ahead and add the inbound rails. Why isn't it attached to power? Oh, it's because this main line isn't attached to power. That's why. Um, let's use our grenades. Get rid of those trees and those ones. And then our trains are going to be coming inbound. Whoops, there's going to be trees trees in the way here. Okay, so we need inbound of this. So this is coming in the left lane. So we will actually use do something a little bit different. I don't usually do this, but we'll be able to have an input from both of these lanes. Like so. So that's good there. And then also an input from the other side. Make sure our lights are good. Boom. Lights are good to go. Whoops. Awesome. Now let's add our exit lights. And then are these, is this long enough for, for a train? I think it is. So we will go ahead and delete these lights because we need to fit a full train train here segment here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yep the full train does fit there all right so that looks good does a full train fit here one two three four five six seven eight okay so then this one also should be a chain signal 
because a full train doesn't fit into this chunk after. But a full train should fit in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it's so close that I'm just gonna, it's like nine and a half. So I'm just gonna add one. Okay. So we are good to go there. Let's attach all of this power to the main line, which is one power pole here. And now these miners should be working and we can't see them because we don't have radar set up. But I'll put a radar here. And I'll go ahead and put radars in place on this side. Let me just move this over one so I can have a radar in line. Oh, and the miners won't be working yet because they don't have sulfuric acid. So let me just add another radar there. And then this train will pick up from the main base and we'll add a weight condition. So weight conditions, I don't know if I've stated this so far, is weight conditions work kind of like code, but it's very simplified. So once we set it to automatic, it'll run automatically. So we want it to stop at main base acid, which is this station here. And we want it to, oh, let's go back to our train. We want it to wait here until it has full cargo, a full tank of acid okay and then once this um once this condition is satisfied it'll move on to the next one if there's no next ones it'll leave the station after this main base acid station we want to go to or uranium acid and then we want it to empty its cargo and then after that it'll leave the station and then go back to the first of the queue and that'll be it so it's already got a full thing of cargo at the main base acid. So let's go ahead and press play on the ore uranium acid and you'll see the path here go all the way. We will wait for the train to come and might as well fix our car while we're at it. And these pumps will unload into the tanks and then the tanks will unload into the miners and then the miners will start ore mining. Perfect. And all of these are going to be going into those chests. Now we need now we need a um, mineral or there's two types of, conta of containers for trains. There's the tank container and then there's the regular cargo container. Uh, all right, it's just dropping off a second load. Perfect. That's fine. So what we're going to need is we're going to need two more locomotives as well as eight regular wagons. And then we will set up the station for the uranium uh, processing. But we might actually start the Coverex processing in the next video so that I get a good dedicated video on that. Let's go ahead, add that there, deposit back. Let's go ahead and grab eight. Perfect. And actually I can, I can delete that. Cause then I can use these guys instead. And that's concrete. But bots, bots will, will make that eventually, once we have bots. All right, so we will go back and do, how many rails do we have? Okay, we got a decent amount. Because now what we got to do is we got to expand our rail network north and make sure that radars are covering everything. All right, so where's our lake? Our lake, from the very beginning, you see there's parts of it right there. So let's go ahead and actually explore it using our car so that we know which area is going to be the best for actually setting up our 
Covarex processing and all the uranium processing. And then we'll we'll go from there. Okay, let's go up here. And it does look like it kind of comes up a bit. Hmm. How do I want to work this? This looks like a nice, nice area for, for power. I like this. I like this a lot and I can land fill up to here. So this looks like a nice start of a power grid and I could probably go like up this line here. That's a lot of continuous water. And that goes up to that little peninsula there. And then it'll span across and this will all be nuclear. Okay. Looks like we got somewhat of a game plan. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so if our nuclear setup is gonna go up this line here, let me use my map to actually measure. So this is gonna be the edge right here, this little island. And that's right there. And I'm just using the map mode WASD keys in order to go straight up and down rather than using the mouse. Uh, where's our grenades? Okay, let's fix our car before we, before we mess it up too much. All right, and then let's use landfill to connect this part. Okay, so this is gonna be the very first like pump that we use for our nuclear power station. And what I like to do is I like to do a full, full gap. And then I'm just gonna go to my blueprint right here. I took this from Catherine of Sky, who did all the calculations and all that stuff. And she did actually great. Actually, I'm gonna go, cause I altered this. I altered this blueprint a bit and I have another playthrough that I, I kind of changed that. So let me go get that blueprint and I'll put it back into here. All right, so I went ahead and added my little rendition of it to here. There we go. And then I'm just gonna plop it down just so that I get the general like edges of where it's gonna be. Obviously because there's water, it won't plop down the entire thing. Um, but at least in this case, I know like how much space I'm gonna leave in order to fit a train in. Cause I will train in the materials kind of back and forth from our Covrex just cause I'd like to do the Covrex probably, probably around here. All right, so we will go in and here's like half of a blueprint just for, I'd like to use it just for spacing. Um, put that here to leave room on this side for whatever it is we might wanna do. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, so that's the blueprint. Uranium ore is gonna come through here and then iron ore as well is gonna be, need to be trained in. Um, let's go ahead and add those stations. I mean, add or just add the spacing and then we could add the stations in the next episode. So let's see if that'll work. So if we just go off this way, like that, and that. And do something like that. And have all four, or all eight lanes meet up. I'd like to have the middle one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Yeah. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. Like that. But actually, I I don't I don't necessarily need all eight lanes. I think I just need. I think I just need four. If I'm gonna keep to the same little, I can actually copy it and do something like this. Let's delete that. Copy this. And then I'll have all of it out there. Just to give us a little bit of wiggle room. You know, we don't want to build too tight when we don't have to. When we have the space, might as well use it. Um, that'll copy that. And then I'll only use, I'll still use two lines of iron just to split them up. But like, obviously they're not going to be consuming two full red lines of iron. It's going to be consuming less than that, obviously. Because the only thing that's going to be using iron in this setup is what's when we actually create or produce the uranium fuel cells that power our nuclear reactors that heat up the pipes and start all the steam and all that jazz. Uh, let's get our signals in just while we're here. Boom. That's good to go. Ooh, and I forgot the power poles. Probably important. Come on, there you go. Here we go, and we will add the steel chest. And then we'll put lights on the inside this time. Just cuz. No particular reason. Boom. And we'll add our inserters. And the reason why I'm, I'm using different inserters is we want the product to be unloaded off of the train as fast as possible. That's why we're using stack inserters, but they won't be loaded into the, or they won't be offloaded from the chest as fast as stack inserters are needed. Um, like we're each little row here is only gonna be filling up half of a red belt right? Because two of these are going to make up one full red belt. So each little section of six is only going to be um, fulfilling half of, of a red belt. And using stack inserters, you get to you get to the situation where they're off, like these ends will offload so much more than the than the middle ones. And then unloading the train becomes a lot longer of a process. Um, so that's why you use the stack inserters, which have a little bit less, they have less of a carrying capacity. So they'll even out the load of unloading a lot, a lot more evenly. Um, and that helps with, you know, keeping the chests as, as even as possible. Obviously they're not, they won't be loaded right at the same rate, but you know, it just, it helps, helps the efficiency of the factory go along. go awesome that balancer is good now let's do the second half all right so that second half is good to go and then i'll i'll bring in 
the iron like along this line here. It's not a huge, huge deal. I'll just kind of plan for it. Boom. Let's delete this rock. So that'll be our iron coming from each side of here. Mm, actually, I want to take out from from the middle one. I don't know why. I feel like it just kind of looks a little nicer. I think it. I think it distributes it a little better. I could be wrong. Could be completely false, but whatever. All right. Then we'll just connect these two up and make sure that. And, and in the next episode, we'll finish out these stations. Uh, we'll plant some radars. And then I'll, I'll walk you through what this blueprint is actually doing. And then we'll set up our first Covrex processing. Um, but this was a good episode. I mean, we started off the uranium. We expanded a rail network as well as set up the radars. Uh, we planned out what we're going to do in our in our next build. And I think we're in, I think we're in a good spot. I think we're in a good setup for, for the next episode. I think it's going to be a, a real good one. Uh, we got to look out for for this iron. So let's go to our task list. The nuclear processing is good. Add new. Let's do um, more iron mining. Save. We still need to do robots. So that's on our list. Um, let's go to our let's go to our map real quick. I mean, we have we have the, the purple purple science going, but our iron is just so backed up or not our iron, but our steel. And that's coming from, you know, the iron, iron belt. It's not, it's not even reaching. It is reaching the bottom, but not nearly as not like, it's not as saturated as it could be. So we sh we need to upgrade, upgrade this smelting to red. So let's go back to our task, more iron mining, add new upgrade smelting to red. And that's just going to be the new level and that's like that'll essentially double double our production here is if we upgrade to steel furnaces as well as red belts that'll double our production it'll also double our consumption so we're going to need to fix this i mean we don't actually we do have a lot of coal coming from here which is good this coal is going to run out soon enough but we got plenty here that'll that'll compensate and then that'll this coal will take us to when we could either supply this with uh, solid solid fuel that's used by oil refining, or it'll just last us until the electric furnaces and we won't even have to use solid fuel um, until, until the rocket fuel. Uh, but I think that's it. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Zero to Hero in our Factorio playthrough. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to smash that like button as well as the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the new videos that are gonna, that are gonna be coming out in this series. We got some exciting ones planned for the near future. I do stream every Thursday and Sunday afternoon over at twitch.tv slash All the links to all my socials, including Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all in the description down below. Yeah, that's going to be it for me. Can't wait to see you next time. Have a good one. Peace.